Good afternoon, everyone. Nine tropical systems across the equatorial bands in our oceans. Daily sunspot, average area, solar rotations, butterfly diagram. Bottom right is where we are. Top left, 1880. Nice match on that. The experts who tell us they're experts about everything have the historical timeline of the spread of civilization wrong. Dorset and Thule people actually taught the Vikings how to spin hair from animals in the Arctic. 100 to 600 AD is when they started it. Vikings picked it up a few centuries later. And if you got to believe in something, even if humans only contribute 0.00012 of atmospheric gases, just tax it. And as we move into times which are more uncertain due to the intensifying grand solar minimum, think about growing some of your own food. Heirloom and Organic Seeds, the TrueLeafMarket.com, Adapt 2030 link is in the description box below, as well as links to many Ice Age conversations, a tri-weekly podcast covering these very subjects in 30-minute segments so you can take it on the go as you transit throughout your day. And over the course of the last week, taking a look at least nine tropical systems through the equatorial bands and tropical waters of our planet through three different oceans. We'll have to transit back in time to find this similar cycle, but they don't like to talk about that in the news headlines. They just like to say there's a lot of storms due to global warming, but they don't tell you it's actually occurred before in the 1970s. Onto the daily sunspot area butterfly diagram. Now this is how the sunspots form around the equator into the solar minimum and then and spread toward 30 degrees north or 30 degrees south as we get into solar maximum. They've been following this since at least the 1870s. Then we can bring it into the modern era where they have spectacular analysis of the same butterfly diagram broken down here by the solar cycles. And once you overlay them, this is the interesting thing. Far right on the bottom is where we are, the yellow box. That's currently right now. Top left is where we have been in the 1880s. Notice the similarity. And as we begin solar cycle 25 in a couple of years, that is going to go absolutely off the chart where we have not seen this low of solar activity in over 200 years. And if you got to believe in something, even if humans only contribute 0.000012 of atmospheric gases, you have to make up everything. Just tax it. Thanks, Al. And you know how they're the experts of the experts of the experts of everything, and they tell us that they're experts and we should only trust them because they're experts, yet they have our civilization timeline mixed up. It's actually backwards for the Dorset, the Thule, and the Vikings. Now, before they thought the Vikings had taught the Dorset and the Thule how to spin yarn out of hair from Arctic animals, Arctic history is totally reversed. Literally, it's a 180 from what you've been taught or what's in the history books existing right now. Researchers were shocked to figure out that as early as 100 to 600 AD, the Thule and Norse had already perfected yarn spinning from animals and also extracting the oil out of the hair to use in daily life. So when the Vikings rocked up to Greenland, they were actually taught this skill by the local indigenous peoples living there. They've had it completely reversed. The Vikings may have picked up a few tricks from the Thule. Taking a look at some old maps here. I really like older maps, so I want to wide this out for you. This is what circa 1700 maps look like of Greenland. And also taking a look at the spread of the Dorset, at the Thule Norse from 900 AD up to 1500 AD. Now, there must have been some climatic change because you can see the dominance has switched from Dorset, 900 AD, 1100 AD, to Thule from 1300 to 1500 AD. And also, take a look at this old map. This is a keeper right here. Monsters of the deep and the beliefs we used to have and stated fact the earth used to be flat. And our timelines, the Vikings taught everybody else, well, everything just reversed. So where does this take us into the whole controversy of reversing and repeating grand solar minimums on cycles that affect society and crop production? Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Steema.com. You can get this information in a blog roll along with text and images, medium as well, written forms. If you like that, check out those two spots and the mini Ice Age Conversations podcast tri-weekly. If you like audio better, enjoy.